Welcome to practice. I'm Paul, and if you haven't noticed, I'm really excited to be here. I, I really am. This is gonna be such a sweet all levels practice. It's an evening wind down practice, but it can be done at any time during the day. Especially if you've had a stressful day, this is the one for you. It's very simple. A couple of sun salutations, a couple of seated postures. If you have a block or two and a belt handy, have them nearby, but they're not necessary. And Summer and I are adding three new classes to the channel every week. They're all short form classes to help you get on the mat consistently. We're here to support you and we're so grateful to have you here. So here's to an amazing evening wind down practice. We'll begin in child's pose and we're gonna move from child's pose to cat and then up to down dog a couple of times. So let's start with feet at the back of the mat, hips down towards the heels and reach your arms out long. Take a full breath in and then release it out. You can breathe through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. De-stressing from the day. With your inhale, round up to cat tilt. Tuck your toes under and with your exhale, melt your chest, lift up to downward dog. Could be a bent knee dog. Inhale, bring your knees to the floor. Let's come into cow or dog tilt, arching the spine. Exhale, round back, point your toes, child's pose. Just connecting breath and movement. Inhale, round up to all fours. Tuck your toes into cow. Exhale, up and back, downward dog. One more time. Inhale, knees to the floor and arch. Exhale, point the toes, round back, child's pose. Inhale and rise, arching. Exhale, downward, diggity dog. And this time we'll hold the dog pose. Can bend a knee, straighten the other leg, move back and forth a few times. Let's bring sincerity to the practice, a focus and intention to be present, to let go. When we're letting go of the day, with your inhale, lift your right leg up in the air, three legged dog. Exhale, step through to lunge, lower your back knee down, and rise for Anjanea variation. We're going to clasp fingers and take hands to the back of the left thigh, to the left hamstring. If you can't quite reach, you could have just off the leg. Lift through your side body, squeeze your shoulders back, and as you lunge into your front leg, slide your hands down the left thigh. Shoulder blades hugging towards the spine. Big lift to your heart. Inhale and rise. Exhale, hands to the floor. Back to down dog. That felt so good. We could do the second side and be done with practice. I think we will have up leveled our day big time. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Lower your back knee. But alas, we'll do a few extra things. However, you clasp before, switch the clasp. Slide your hands down the back of the right thigh. You can also have your hands apart, just reaching hands towards the earth. Create some tone here. Front foot, back knee, draw towards each other. Isometric action to create strength, stability. Inhale and rise. Hands to the floor. Lift your back leg, step forward. Standing forward fold. Feet hip bone distance apart. Feel free to sway side to side, to bend a knee, and then the other. Whatever feels good for you. Half forward fold, inhale, lengthen forward. Exhale and fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Right hand grabs the left wrist. Lean over to the right, look under the left arm. You know, I like to say never a bad time for a side stretch. And definitely after a long day, never a bad time for a side stretch. 
All right, inhale and rise. Grab the right wrist with the left hand. Pull it over to the left, but sway hips to the right as you look under your right arm. Inhale and rise. Exhale, dive forward, standing forward full. Next inhale, step left leg back to lunge. For a twist, because we have to twist after a long day, left hand could stay down and right arm for the sky. You could always modify with back knee on the floor. Or if you're feeling a deeper twist, bring your left arm to the outside of the right thigh, hands in prayer position. Draw the right shoulder back. Pull the right hip back. Relax your face. Soft jaw, soft eye. One more breath. With your inhale, slowly release back to plank. Exhale, knees to the floor, lift your tailbone. If you're able to, chin and chest to the floor, hips stay up. If not, you'll bring hips down. Any bend the elbows, come forward and down. So chin and chest, down, hips up, and even try to pull your knees forward without moving them. And then I'll lift your hips up higher. And then slide your legs back, coming flat onto your belly. Clasp your fingers behind the back. Had to do some hard opening here. Draw your shoulders back. Eyes up for Shalabhasan, locust. Keep your chest lifted. Release your hands, hands to the floor. Cobra, stay in low cobra with belly down. Or if you're able to, lift your belly off the floor. Pull your hands back asymmetrically so they're not moving, but you feel like you're going to drag them back. And then release downward facing dog. Inhaling, lift your left leg. Exhale, step it through. Find your twist. Right hand stays down or right arm to the outside of the left thigh. Squeeze your inner thighs towards the midline. That'll help you to stabilize. Soften your eyes, especially the left eye. With your exhale, slow really. Step forward, standing forward fold. Bend your knees, come into a squat. One might think we're about to do core work, but alas, it's an evening wind down. Have a seat. Let's continue with the hamstrings and the twist. A bell can come in handy if your hamstring is tighter as we go into this variation of crown chasana or heron pose. Right, so if you need, you'll place a belt around your foot. As you stretch your leg up, resist your right hip towards the front of the mat. Lift through the heart, lengthen through your spine. Relax your face. Deep breath in and out through the nose. At the end of your next exhale, bring your right foot to the floor, Marichyasana. Left leg is straight can either hold on to the right leg or take your left arm to the outside of the right leg. And if you've had a really long day, this is like serious wind down time, keep adding the twists in. I love twists after a long day, especially standing or seated. How many other options after that? Twisting is good stuff. Relax your face as you look over your right shoulder. Inhale, slowly release. Second side. Just the right leg out. Left leg goes out. You have to leave it below in the comments. If you like twisting, let me know. I want to hear about it. Me, I'm a big fan of the twist, as you can tell. Left leg goes up, left hip resisting forward. Relax your face, soft jaw, soft eye. 
If you find that you're rounded back a lot, just pull yourself forward. You may have to lower the left leg or again, use the belt. And exhale, left foot to the floor. It's not quite touching the right thigh. It's a little bit over to the left. Hold on to the leg. And be aware of the right leg as you're twisting. It'll tend to turn out to the side. We just forget about it. Keep it straight up and down. Try to get your low back to move in and up more for your twist. Inhale, slowly release. Cross your legs, simple cross-legged pose. Final posture before we do a restorative back bend. So right shin in front of the left, pull your seat back. It's hard for you to fold forward if you're tighter in the hips, if your knees are elevated, Place a blanket under your hips. And let's walk forward. Walk the hands forward. Lengthening through your spine. Keep your feet active. Flex your toe. Inhale. Slide your hands in, side stretching. Walk your left hand over, right arm alongside the ear. Maybe you stay like this. If you're able to, you could bring left elbow to the floor or even to a block. Looking under the right arm. The right hip will tend to lift. Try to ground through the right buttock. Inhale and rise. Exhale. You know I like to jump switch. So jump switch the legs. Left leg in front. Pull your seat back and apart. And let's walk it out. Soft jaw. Inhale, rise up. Right hand walks to the right. Right elbow perhaps to the floor. Extend your left arm. Look under your left arm. Draw your left shoulder back. It tends to round forward. So pull the head of the arm bone back. Inhale, rise all right, we have arrived either Shavasana or supported bridge with a block. And you could go at the mid-level. You could go at the upper level. I like the upper level, level, but it might be too much for you today. The key is to have the block below the waistline on the sacrum. If it's on your low back, it's not going to feel so good. But if it's below the waistline on that big triangular bone, the sacrum, That'll be the sweet spot. And if it's still uncomfortable for you, just lie flat on the floor. You could always roll a blanket up under your knees as well if you have low back discomfort. And simply let go of the day. Just let it all go. Let go of the practice. No attachment to any of it. Let go of your thoughts as they arise. No attachment to your thoughts. Not stopping the thoughts. They're going to come. But then we let them go. Give yourself the space to be still and relaxed. I'll leave you here in Shavasana. If you could stay for a few minutes, please do so. Just let this posture work its magic on you. Thank you for joining me for practice today. As always, such a pleasure to do this with you. I wish you a beautiful rest of your day.
Namaste.